My name is Lucretia Nyawera Mwange. I work in the Living Soils Laboratory as the lead technician. We also have microorganisms in the soil. These are the invisible that you cannot see with our own naked eyes. We have to use a microscope in media to be able to quantify their presence in the soil. So when we have this soil and we take it through a process of uh, isolation, we are able to get Ambuscular mycorrhiza fungi. This is a very important type of fungi uh, that produces poles that live in the soil. And these are very crucial in that they help the plants to grow vigorously, even under very stressful conditions. And they help the plant to be able to take up water from uh, their ability to explore more areas from the soil. And these poles are currently now being used as biofertilizers, which are added to the soil and they help the plant in becoming more healthier and even producing more. So when we get a soil, we this soil we extract and here we have our spoles and we are able to observe through here and we are able to see uh, the number of the spores that we have in the soil. We are also able to uh, diversify because the spores come in different shapes. We have different uh, color also, and we have different texture. So that helps us in being able to uh, get the species richness and the species diversity. And we also have these uh, that we use. These ones you cannot be able to extract and observe through a microscope. So we give them food or what we call uh, media. And this, as you're seeing, is a, a plate that has fungi and you see the different colors which is showing that there are different species of fungi in this soil. So what we do is that we prepare media and then we inoculate soil in this media and then we incubate for seven days and the growth start appearing. If we want to do more studies we are able to pick uh, a different uh, culture from here and we do a pure culture based on the observable uh, features that you are seeing. Here we have pink color which is showing a, a species of fungi. We have brown and we have the yellow. And we also able to do a, a bacteria culture. We also do the same and we are able to get our colonies. We use this to count the colonies which shows the microbial community that is in the soil. So these microorganisms are very, very important in the soil. Uh, basically, they are indicators of soil health. When we have uh, them in the soil, it shows that our soil is healthy. The more we have in the soil, the more healthy is the soil. So we should make sure that our soil is not losing these microorganisms because when they lose, we also lose our soil fertility. And uh, the fungi and the bacteria in the soils, they, they, they help in the de decomposition of organic matter. So they help in transformation of the minerals in the soil. Basically, they improve the whole ecosystem and they contribute to healthy plants as well as healthy animals. They have also been used as biofertilizers. For example, uh, beneficial plant growth promoting bacteria and fungi, which inhabit uh, the roots of the plant and they help in helping the plant to optimize the, the, the nutrients that are there, as well as increasing their growth in very stressful conditions. They also have uh, the, the ability to show the type of uh, ecosystem or the, the landscape that the soil has been picked from. For instance, if you have a soil and you get a lot of fungi, it's an indicator that this soil had trees available when the sampling was being taken. And they also help in recognizing uh, the, the presence of other organisms like bacteria. When bacteria is present, protozoa also has to be present. So they help in, in knowing what food sources are also available. 
and the mycorrhiza has a wide range of importance uh, the, the, the mycorrhiza uh, forms mutualistic relationships with the plant roots and they help the plant in becoming resistant to diseases. They enter and they interfere with the genes of the plants which make the, the plant become uh, more resistant to any kind of infection. They also form a very good network around the plant roots which enables the plant to be able to be more drought tolerant and also they help in exploring more soils than the plant roots. This uh, ability to explore more uh, soil than the plant roots helps in absorption of nutrients as well as water. The, the roots of the mycorrhiza are also very small. They are able to penetrate small soil cores, hence bringing nutrients to the to the plant and any plant that is mycorrhiza that has formed this type of mycorrhiza is able to be resistant to drought and any stressful condition that may be subjected to in the soil.